And we're live. Hi, Mark Cleghorn here for the Photographer Academy. Thanks for joining me in the studio again. And um, basically today we're talking about, or shoot, shooting, I should say, a fallen angel. Uh, Melia's with us today, great model. She's uh, one of our lockdown models, uh, kind of during this time and things. And we kind of, we're shooting a, a kind of a, a twist on the American beauty kind of image that many of you might be familiar with. Uh, but we're doing this as far as with feathers and we're gonna be kind of bringing in the angel wings as well and things really. Let's talk about the kind of the setup first and kind of um, how it all kind of comes together. Um, as far as the kit is concerned, what are we doing? We're using a 50 mil prime, shooting at F4 100 ISO, 125th of a second to begin with. But then later on in the shoot, we're gonna kill this wonderful light that is killing me, all right? But we're gonna kill this light here and we're gonna start to drag the shutter speed so I actually get a little bit of motion blur and everything else. You'll see on the camera, there's a little bit of an orange cable going on into the camera. And this is a tether tools cable that allows us to shoot and, and transport the image very fast into a kind of a general laptop like we've got here. Um, so what I'm sending across, in fact, is not only the JPEG that is being shot on camera, on camera but also the raw file that has been uh, sent through at the same time because I shoot both. We're gonna be looking at the images just up on the kind of the big screen, but of course we're never gonna really analyze an image on here. That's just obviously for work, workshop effect and obviously here. Um, but otherwise it's going into capture one uh, to kind of give us the image. Lighting wise, three lights, Elinchrom lights, ELC Pro 100, uh, sorry, 500s and 1000. We've got a thousand in the sky. That is technically the dramatic light. And then we've got two other lights running in the background that basically are giving us the kind of the uh, backlighting effect, which we need to actually kind of give the three dimensional separation to the feather. Now, when I was setting these up, I'm metering them together. So in other words, I'm metering for this one first, then I meter for this, uh, for this one independently and once they're set then I can kind of use them together. So uh, Elinchrom allows me to basically shoot and set things of the lighting into different groups. So uh, usually my kind of backlights which these are are going to be into group four all right so um, as is once I'm there, I can basically put these into the shot. So let's get this back up again. They've each got a little bit of a, uh, a dish on uh, just to control the spill of the light more. It's not the dish that comes with the reflector dish that comes with the actual kit. It's a little bit more of an, ang an angled light. I do apologize, I'm, I'm useless. I go the skinnier one and the skinny, skinny one. <laughs> or the deep dish one, you know, really bad, I know. Um, but as far as the kind of the look and the feel is concerned, what it's doing, it's gonna be not only separating the model and the wings and the fur away from the background, the feathers I should say, but it's also gonna be giving us this lovely light and bright, and it could be a, a working exposure by itself. So the most important part is to make sure that when we're using the sky port, which is the trigger that we put on the camera hot shoe, this is telling uh, certain lights to fire or not. So in other words, if I uh, just take that off, I'm not sure if this is the right camera to do the close-up with, okay, but the sky port, uh, it's basically, it goes on the camera hot shoe, can also bend uh, to actually be flat, so it's not in your viewpoint if you're looking towards the client, all right? But the sky port I can set in the, diff uh, the different groups, and just by kind of clicking onto a group, it'll go to group one, group two, group three, group four, or all. So at some stage, we're gonna be shooting with all, and that will obviously fire all the lights. As it is, basically, both of these lights together are gonna to fire when I tell them to fire. And if I want the key light, which is gonna be the, dra the drama light, we'll shoot these in turn so you can see it. And that is then actually gonna fire. Meter to F4. In this case, if I wanna actually shoot a slightly higher uh, depth of field, I can either turn them all up together in power bus by pressing the actual power button on here, and I can increase them by tenths of a stop. Let me just put this back on again. So uh, that's our basic background. I've got an option uh, to kind of, do I want to light the white background or do I want to kind of give separation to the feathers? In this case, uh, I'm basically just going to light the feathers so they're acting as separation lights. If I was kind of uh, wanting to get this pure white, pure, pure white, so that's white with no de uh, detail but no flare, there is a two-stop equa equation guaranteed. So if this is my working aperture of say F4, then these would be set two stops brighter, bouncing onto the light, and that would give us F8. If my working aperture was F8, 
then we'd be working at F-16. I'm sure you've watched some of the films on the Academy. Now, remember the Academy uh, kind of brings to you uh, thousands and thousands of films already online, um, so you can go and watch them ad-free as well within things, really. We've got some special membership offers, offers running. I think it's £59 for a whole year. You get access at pro level. If you want the business level as well, obviously you can join us for £99 for the whole year and things, really. So, uh, again, we've been around for a very long time. I'm helped with a variety of other talented photographers that kind of give us their time. But today on these live, I think is the proof in the pudding. It really shows, shows, shows you why you should actually be a member of the Academy and what you can basically see every single day. We create three new films each week. In fact, today we're in our, bud our boudoir series and we've been shooting a whole lot of films ready for the Academy to go live. Enough about me. Let's kind of get into the shoot. Remember, get the questions in onto the panel as we're going through it, and we'll kind of answer those towards the end if that's okay. So let's get into the first shot, which is basically just going to be uh, Mila, uh, Mila, sorry, with the uh, kind of the dramatic light, and then we'll see what the backlight's going to do. We'll do some feathers, and then we'll actually bring in the wings at the end. Princess of the feathers, we need you. Excellent. Okay, so let's get in, guys. So, Mila, just if you put your feet on the tape there, that's your position, if that's okay. Turn your body around towards here for me, and you're going to be looking into this light from above, if that's okay. If you can lean back just a little bit more, that's be beautiful. Let me just show them what Group 1 is going to do. So, this is our main light source. This is what the kind of uh, the dramatic light is going to do. Then we've got Group 4, or in fact, I set them as Group 3 like an idiot, uh, and that's basically our separation light. So, this is kind of going to give us the kind of all the light from behind. So you can see here why I've got that accent light running as well, is that if I want some light coming onto uh, Amelia's face, then I need to make sure I've got that overhead as well. So let's shoot all of the three lights together. Let's go to group all. And then this is what we're going to end up with. This is our kind of lighting quality and so on with it. So you're seeing an image directly out of camera, of course. Right, team, let's get in with some feathers, shall we? Uh, Amelia, I think we're going to go out with your hands kind of just out towards the side. Yeah, just uh, leaning up with your head. I am useless with names, am I not? <laughs> I, uh, Brandy Snap, videographer. Then we've got uh, Honor with us today as well. I haven't forgotten Honor's name yet. It's such an unusual name. So why I can't get uh, Amelia's name right, I've got no idea. Right, uh, hands out for me, just actually quite low. Um, just lean in the uh, angle of the backwards, raise the chin up towards that light for me as well if you can. Okay, ready guys? One, two, three, go. Excellent, relax. So let's have a quick look at those. Beautiful. Try and unclump them more, so actually just separate them just a little bit. Uh, it's pretty good in fact, I love it. Can I just see if you can get, I can get your face into this light a little bit more for me? So it's that light there, okay? Can you just um, turn your hips away from me first, darling? Lean the head into there. I'm just gonna shoot without anything a minute. I just want, I think you're not quite in the right spot. Yeah, um, if you can come up to me just a little bit more and now over towards here, just step this way a little bit more and just lean the body into the head. That's gorgeous there, let's do it. Quick, hang on a minute. Let me just get in place. That might be better, let's just check it. That's it, let's do it. Okay, ready team? So on three, uh, ra uh, raising up the chi, uh, oh, hang on a second, just, I touched the cable by mistake. Let me just do another test shot. Let's do a group all. Okay, let's do it. Ready team? One, two, three, go. Excellent. Love it. Let's just do one more before we swap into the wings. Can we kill this light for me? And I'm just gonna dial the shutter speed down to around about a uh, quarter of a second, I think, just so you get a little bit of blur. So we've turned off as much ambient light as we can just to get the lighting kind of coming down. Oh, Brandon's run away again. Oh, very dark. Okay, let's try it again, shall we? Your head up into that light if you can feel that light. It's gorgeous. One, two, three, go. Lovely. Should see a little bit of shake coming through there. 
there's not enough actually blur going on, is there really? I think when we do that with the, um, with the wings, I think we're going to really slow that shutter speed down more. Right, let's get some wings in place, shall we? Okay, so uh, can you put on a light for me a minute, please, Brad, uh, Brandon, so we can see it? Uh, Mila, she's just bringing in the wings behind you a minute. If you go behind on her, push on her, they need to go over this way more. Mila, can you move over that way a little bit more for me? There you go. Okay, put the wings in now. There you go. Mila, if you step back into your wings there. Anna, I lied. They need to come over this way a little bit more. Turn towards this direction more. Anti-clockwise, that's it. Mila, can you actually hide all those clips for me and everything else? Turn the hips around towards here first. Right, Anna, can you just put the wings behind her a little bit more? Okay, if you keep the hips there, but turn the torso back to me. Uh, I've got the clips showing again. They need to go over that way a little bit more. My right, my right, my right. Then go a little bit lower if you want, but they need to go to my right anyway. Go, 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 go. And get them as close to her as we can, please. Mila, if you put your back in against the middle of those wings now. Okay. Twist the body this way a touch. There you go. Great, that's lovely. And your head is going to be leaning up towards there. Okay, let's have a quick test. Let me just shut my should it be back down to 125th. So let's have a little look. Gorgeous. Let's. Um, can you step forward for me, Amelia? Just that's lovely. Can you push those wings towards her again? I need to really make sure that head is in that light. And we're still going to put the hands out towards the side, please. That's gorgeous. Can you slightly twist your hips towards Honor? Raise the chin up. That's lovely. Okay. Let's quick test. Shooting it there. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's go feathers, should we, guys? Uh, no, we'll keep them on for now. Uh, there's a feather just, feather just picking out the side of these wings here. On this side, if you just pull it off. <laughs> Please don't throw the silicon gel. Okay, same thing again. Really push yourself into the wings. That's gorgeous there. Okay, guys, are you going to be throwing them towards her as well a little bit, or is it just behind her? I don't know what you were doing before. Behind. behind. Okay, let's do behind, yeah? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Excellent. Could you do it again, but one hand on her? I think you're throwing them to, from the, cor uh, the corner back towards us. Okay. If towards us so we, I want a few to actually kind of stum, uh, to come over there uh, Brandon I don't want to happen to your feathers mate but they disappeared they didn't seem to actually come down this side at all whether they went straight in behind it just here we go okay ready okay let's do it a slight lean of the bend of the back for me. That's beautiful. Twist the hips around towards honor a touch. That's gorgeous. Um, eyes closed, raising up. Okay. Ready? Uh, bend the elbows just a little bit more. Turn the, your right hand upwards. That's beautiful just there. Okay, guys. One, two, three, go. Yeah, Brandon, you're throwing too much in the middle. There's none coming down this side at all. Can, can you see them all in the middle? I just need a few coming down this side. I promise you that no chickens were hurt to actually make this film today. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to custom balance into um, tungsten. Uh, yeah, let's go. Ready? And same, please. Lean it back a little bit more. Hips around towards honor. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Yeah, Brandon, yours are just clumped. You're fired. Um, so I've just turned the... Uh, okay, let's go to uh, long shutter speed anyway, shall we? So let's kill all these lights. Um, for that last shot there, we just basically turned the custom balance into tungsten. That's given us that kind of bluey effect and everything else with it and things really. I'm just going to get my plastic glass uh, to add a little bit of um, soft, softness to the image as we're doing it. So I'm going to... Shutter speed is going to be down. Okay, last few guys. Let's make it count. Uh, leaning back again, please. Mila, that's beautiful just there. Ready, Brannon? Brannon? 
Brandon, Brandon, ready? Hang on a second, I'm focused. Switch off my focus. Ready, go. And again, please, set it straight away. Nice and still, deep breath now, go. Excellent. Once more if we can. Let me just put the white, white balance back onto uh, flash mode. I can't see a thing. Light bulb. There is a, mo a moment for it, there you go. The first time I think I've ever used the light, uh, the light bulb on my camera. White balance. Flash balance, quick test. Excellent, leaning back again, leaning back, that's lovely. Okay, ready boys and girls? One, two, three, hold your breath, go. Brandon, again, quick, quick as you can, please. You totally, you totally miss, missed it, guys. Three, two, one, is it? Okay, then, right. Malia, it's their fault that we're going to do another one. Okay, ready, guys? Uh, push back towards those wings a little bit more for me. Eyes closed for this one. Ready? One, two, three, go. Excellent. And that's a wrap. Beautiful. Thank you very much, guys. Amelia, thank you very much, darling. We're going to do a quick review. Let's get some lights on. Nice. Who's a clever girl? Go get warm, you. That's the trouble when we work in a converted church, yeah? It's all, always cold. Nope, you're done. Thank you very much, darling. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've uh, just finished a long, busy day here in the studio and things, really. Got some great images and things. Uh, remember, if you're not a member of the Photographer Academy, uh, head over to the photographacademy.com. I'm sure there's a link below. We've got an offer running to go for the Pro Med membership, which is it's £59 for the whole year, and you get full pro access. If you want the business access as well, there's obviously a little bit more kind of thing. Let's have a quick look at the images, and then we'll do questions, yeah? So, what we've got here, um, let's kind of go back to the beginning. And the first thing that we wanted to do was check the lighting onto uh, the subject was going to be perfect as far as on the face is concerned. There's obviously going to be a slight movement in and out. We're shooting a oh, 160th of a second f8. Um, I thought we were shooting at 4, but I set it up for 8 for more depth. Um, but we've got some really great effects coming through the feathers there. I think they look really good. Um, and then... Once we'd finished that, we brought in the wings. Now, on the wings, I cheat, yeah? <laughs> I always stick them on a stand, and we put them behind, uh, even them with young kids and everything else with it. Uh, even though there are times where it basically can just uh, get in the way of the shot, it's quick to actually retouch them out. It's different if I'm working on location, and I've got a subject, like a ballerina, running around on a coastline or whatever it is, and things really. But, uh, yeah, so we got... Um, uh, the wing's in place, and obviously you can see, get him to the right height, and obviously the right angle, and so on. This key light, this key light one here, you might not feel that is really important, but because I want her illuminated, I want that angel kind of come in uh, alive and things, really. That's what we're using it coming through. Uh, Brandon, you can see that feather I was on about now on the side, yeah? <laughs> That's where it's worth to get rid of. Otherwise, you can imagine I've got to Photoshop that out of about four forty-five photographs now. Um, anyway, um, it's my fault. I, I, I put the wings together. So then we've got her uh, back in place, just allowing that kind of space more. And I think got some really great images there. Then we turn the white balance from a normal flash balance. So if you're a Nikon photographer, you probably work in white, uh, a daylight balance or something like that. We very rarely work in auto white balance unless we're using uh, strobe flash, like little strobes to go on the top of the, uh, the cameras, uh, specifically with Nikon, because you tend to actually get a little bit of a strange kind of cast. Um, so as far as in, stu in studio flash is concerned, we set it on the little flash icon, that's the lightning bolt, and that gives us a very, very set color balance. 
And for here, if I put it into the tungsten mode, uh, the opposite of warm is cold. So in other words, a tungsten light is warm, i.e. yellow. So when we put it into a tungsten mode, but we use daylight or flash with it, it obviously then creates a blueness. So this is kind of a lovely kind of uh, um, a, twi a twilight kind of looking image and things really. So that's our kind of main thing there. And then of course, you can see that we began to actually drop the shutter speed down from that 125th or 160th down and we're just playing around. Uh, I was using some plastic glass. Uh, if you haven't seen me use this, uh, basically this is just a cheap kind of uh, frame plastic. Um, I think it's from Ikea. It's not an advert for Ikea, but it's from Ikea. And basically what I do then is I uh, scratch it. All right, so I scratch it to actually get the different effects. If you want a bit of a haze, stay there, I'll be back. Uh, what I tend to actually do is uh, we'll use a little bit of lacquer. And uh, a woman's, or I shouldn't say woman's, but a lacquer, like a hair lacquer, and basically you can just spray it on and just let it dry. And that will probably take a good 10 to 20 minutes, depends on the temperature of the room, but keep it away from camera, that's the main thing. Um, and what this is gonna do, it actually kind of creates is a bit of a, a fuzzy effect, a kind of a, a lacquer it sticks on. And then basically uh, you slowly build it up and up to add more around the actual image. And then you basically can actually give, give yourself a very soft effect. Usually we try and leave the center of any filter that we create clear, unless we want this kind of scratchy effect coming across, cross it. Um, but this is what's given us this lovely kind of fraction of light, almost this angel light coming down, the kind of how it all kind of just disappears, a, a, a bit of a, a good effect and things. And that's obviously what it's like without it. So uh, you get a good idea on what you can create in a bit of a setup. Uh, but remember, we haven't gone to light the white background today. We've gone to create a drama of the photograph. And I'm sure you can go out there, whether you're locked down or not, and you can actually create some fun images wherever you are in the world. Hope you've enjoyed this kind of session. We'll take que questions if there is any. Brandon, any questions there at all? So look at this camera, please. Uh, we'll we'll that camera. Okay, so uh, one of the questions, I'm not sure if you could hear Brandon in the background, but basically, if you're new to photography, the first thing is congratulations. Your creativity has just begun, whether you're using an, I, an iPhone, DSLR, uh, mirrorless, whatever it is, I don't care, Congrat uh, congratulations and have fun. The whole point of the Photographer Academy is to inspire you to pick up your camera and be a little bit more creative with it you were tomorrow than you are today. It doesn't matter if you're a pro photographer, amateur photographer, hobbyist, it doesn't matter at all, all right? The key thing is play around. So if I didn't have any of this equipment, okay, except for uh, the odd pair of wings and a few chicken fe feathers, look, I don't know what these feathers are, and please no comments. I've got no idea what they're from. Uh, they're from e eBay, so basically complain to them, not me, but I'm sure no animal has been hurt. Um, pick it up. So what have we got? Uh, if we haven't got any flash at all, get out on location and get the light coming from behind you, like the sunlight. And that's technically what these lights are doing. Those are my sun, yeah? And then basically, you haven't got one of these, <laughs> okay? So you haven't got an extra sun that is gonna pop the light on onto the face. But what you have, uh, probably you can steal a mirror from somewhere around the house. And by using a mirror, and, and a special friend, yeah, uh, basically to hold a mirror and reflect some of the sunlight, you could pop it onto the face. And straight away, I can guarantee you, you can create something very, very similar to what we've got here. All right, so the whole point is you can do it without the equipment, but when you've got the equi equi equipment, and the more professional the equi equipment, the easier the job will be, and you can create it any time of day. So um, to do this at home, you've either got to go outside, put your, uh, the, sub, the, the subjects 
back to the light and basically there you'll give a natural separation. If you want to try doing sub, uh, something tonight at home or whatever it would be, try a couple of room lamp, lamps uh, or makeup bulbs or whatever it would be and point them towards the camera position. Allow that to almost get to a flare um, element. So get them closer and closer until you get the flare, then take them back again. And then basically whatever you're going to have in front is, is going to be your, sub, uh, your subject. And that will create the texture that we created with the actual feathers. I hope that answers a question. Very good, very good. So we've got one more question. It's more of a technical question. Okay, so we've got one techie quest, uh, question. Okay. Uh, how does that okay, so if I generalize the question anyway, how important is the ambient light in slowing it down within a shutter speed environment when we're, use, are we using flash? I think, does that summarize it? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, all right. So basically, with, uh, if I need to blur things, I need to allow some natural light, tungsten light in this case, to touch the part of the thing I want to blur. All right. So in other words, I really want the tungsten light to touch the feathers to allow them to actually float down. Now, we, we wouldn't have seen a huge kind of uh, look as far as the blur is concerned. And the reason being in that is that we're using a light and bright background with a light and bright subject. So if, if we had something like a red pet, petal on a red background because they're in the darker tones but we're using the separation light to kind of uh, edge them out as they start to move you will see the difference there the difference in obviously the white against white you're not going to see as much but the real only way for you to get blur a uh, blurring within the photograph especially when you're using flash is by um, slowing the shutter speed down and down again and you'll you'll use different shutter speeds for different kind of effects you know some you need a little bit some you'll need a lot uh, and because we've got so much ambient light within the film studio anyway, uh, basically there's always a little bit too much. But what I try and do is, is honesty and lie for you so you can see the results straight away so we're not kind of, uh, uh, kind of showing you something else and having to fix it in Photoshop and blah, blah, blah. But as far as shutter speed is concerned, it doesn't really affect the expo exposure until it equals the aperture uh, that we set up. So in other words, F8 here, pretty much we'd have to have quite a lot of uh, modeling bulb running in the background to be able to start to take over from the actual working expo exposure. But if you're working at F4, 28, then it's very easy for the ambient light in the room to start to really affect it. Okay, thanks very much for joining me live. Uh, remember, remember, head over to the Photographer Academy and you can actually see um, all of our film cod, uh, content uh, from the very beginning 12 years ago, uh, right up to today. We, we do do a cull each year, so don't worry. Uh, when we kind of uh, remake a film because it's more up to date or more crea uh, creative, you're not seeing kind of trash just because it's there. That's that's kind of YouTube for us, isn't it? You can't get rid of the very old, uh, and you're actually, when you're searching on things, you really want to actually find the right thing straight, straight away. We're in um, six weeks of boudoir photography, and basically that's where we're running the kind of the theme. So today we could link in the fallen angel kind of style with a little bit of the, bud, uh, the boudoir anyway. You can join me live on webinars as well. We usually have a live at lunch on a, mon a Monday. That's U UK time, one o'clock. Um, but if you go over to the Photographer Academy, you can always re-watch those at any time. We do try and put some content onto you. YouTube each week for you as well. Um, but again, if you want the full kind of pro content and experience, head across to us and don't, and don't forget we have our great bi-monthly magazine uh, uh, created by us to celebrate the big picture. That's enough from me. Thanks for joining me live. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.